has escaped brings you Anthony Ellis' exciting story, A Matter of Conscience. Islands were still the Netherlands Indies, and the island of Bali was a part of that group. There are a lot of things they tell you about Bali in posters and brochures of the maidens with their grace, of form, the flowers, of the music, and the exotic dances. All these are charms for the appetite of the civilized Westerners. But there is also the matter of the native character. I know these things because I was the government resident at the time. A number of people still remember what took place. Yes, my heavens, how they remember. <laughs> but nobody talks about it anymore. When you consider that it caused a native uprising and cut off the tourist traffic for two months, it is a better thing to forget. Uh, my house and my office was in Singaracha, which then was a town of some 12,000 in the north of Bali. The matter began one afternoon in November. An English pleasure ship had arrived the day before. I had received a visit from an old and valued friend, skipper of the ship, Captain Logan. As a matter of fact, the captain was drinking tea with me when Mynheer Hochstraten came in. My heavens, he was nervous. My dear, I mean. Well, good afternoon, Mynheer. You, you, you've not met Captain Logan. No, uh, you're from the English ship. Yes, how do you do? Mynheer Hochstraten is my assistant. Uh, will you have a, a cup of tea? Uh, please, sit down. My dear, may I have a few words with you alone? Well, uh, of course. Yeah, I'll run along. I no, no, uh, perhaps it is best for you to say, Captain. will confirm you as well. Oh? I've just heard that a terrible thing has happened. What? What terrible thing? The temple of Searing has been desecrated. What? A party of the English visitors, three of them, made their way to the inner court, unseen by the guide, and made a dreadful mockery of one of the sculptures there. They're from my ship? There's no doubt of it, Captain. Young men, from what I understand. Oh, Lord, I might have known those three boys from Lexford College. I might have known them. Uh, what exactly did they do, Hoekstraten? You know the statue of Genish in the temple? Yes, yes, yes. They used one of the extremities as a resting place for a hack. Good Lord. Yes. It's far worse, my dear. Even worse. More. They've run off with two of the young females. Oh, my heavens. Temple dancers? Yes. Blast. No, blast them indeed. Captain, those women might well be female priests. Have you notified the police, Hog Stratton? I only heard a moment ago. I thought it best to consult with you. First, good, good. Have them in any trouble yes. yet? I don't know. I don't know. Captain, I, I, I want you to see to it that every one of your passengers is up aboard ship immediately. That is better. It can be. I, I shall have to go to Sering to see the head priest. Oh, this is a nasty thing. I don't mind telling you. The Balinese are a proud people. And on that day, damage had been done to their pride. My heavens, I had no idea how much damage until I met the high priest. He received me in the inner court of the temple. My dear Lennon, it has been a long time since your people and mine have spilled blood. Are you speaking of the Dutch government or white men? Both. We are peace-loving. I do not need to tell you that. But today there is anger within us. I cannot say where it may lead. Because of the foolish and thoughtless antics of boys? 
they will be dealt with. They will, my dear. Is that a threat? They will be dealt with. Have I not always been fair with you, Meta? Always, my dear. Then let me attend to the matter. You may do as you wish. You are the government resident. Will you tell me, have you found the young men? By now they may have been found. And the women? They too will be dealt with. They were not priests. No, but they have brought shame upon us. One is my own daughter, Lerang. Oh, I am sorry. Now you must forgive me, Munir. I have duties to attend. Um, no. Madame, you, you are an educated man. You know the Englishman meant no harm. It was stupidity and ignorance. And I cannot believe they would harm your daughter. Good afternoon, Munir. <laughs> I, I could not exactly blame the high priest, but to allow sympathy to interfere with my duty was impossible. Before the thing went any further, it had to be stopped. There had not been a native uprising for over 30 years, and I frankly valued my position too much to allow one now. Bali is quite a luscious place to spend one's life, you see. I went to the constable, Manier Phelan, and discussed the matter with him. I wondered what had happened, Manier Phelan. It's altogether too quiet for this time of the day, and I don't like the sound of that gong. Do, do you think they would take up arms? Oh, I doubt it. I very much doubt it. Still, we mustn't be positive, must we? I told that the governor has not heard about this. Oh, may heavens, no. It would mean our job. I, I, I tell you frankly, Phelan, I, I'm worried. The Balinese seem to have disappeared. There wasn't a soul about when I came down. Uh, the tourists back aboard the ship? I imagine so. Captain Logan was seeing to it. And Maison would not say what has happened to the idiot boys who did this. No, no, but, but you know the old man. More than likely his daughter and the other one ran off with them of their own accord. All the girls love visitors. Unfortunately, this time it is the head priest's daughter. Excuse me. Hello, Constable Singh. What? No. Where? All right. Get as many men as you can, since they are off. What happened? Yeah, yes, they'll be along straight away. What happened? Very bad. Idiotic. Hello, Cornelius. Kerwin here. I want every available man on the street in two minutes. Miss Gantz. You understand? What has happened? No, no, it's the natives. They're running amok. I just got a call from the constable at Bato. I'll explain to you later. <laughs> Have you a pistol in there, Wade? No, my, my heavens, no. You better take this. They are attacking? What have they done, Colonel? They're tearing up our bull along, waving their swords all over the place. Searching for white men. That's as much as I could get over the phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, please, my dear Wade. Well, it had happened. That lazy, delightful island. Those lovely, hospitable people had seemingly gone mad with anger over the antics of three tourist boys from an English school. I, I could not believe it, but there it was. Bali was in the midst of an uprising. We, we drove in a small lorry to Bulelang, and when we got there, there was not a sign of life in the town. I don't mind telling you I was frightened. Nothing like this had ever happened to me. And here I was, walking along the street with a pistol in my hand. Cornelius, help your men patrol the wall. If you have any trouble, blow your Yes, sir, yes. Well, the wall, I mean. Where is everyone? Oh. Just on me, I don't like this way. The town is completely empty. But they would not leave their shops open like that. They would if the temple people ordered them to. They must have run off to the hills. Any whites living here, Dr. Nard? 
No. Not in the native quarters. Unless they were visiting for some reason or other. You I really think I had better notify the governor. If this thing spread... I've heard about it in Patong. It's already spreading in here. They have... They... You squat. What? You, you, you see somebody? What? Outside of the road. In that shop. See? No. Come on. I, I see nobody. I... All right. Come out. You in there. Oh! I say! I say! English. Oh, jolly good you chap showing up. I thought you were savages for a moment. These little devils, where did they go? We should like to know that too. Are you from the ship, sir? Yes, I should jolly well say that I am. This is bad form, you know. Awfully bad form. Would you mind telling us what happened? Well, well, actually, I haven't the foggiest. One moment I was examining some rather quaint idols in the shop over there, and then a, a herd of screaming Balinese roared down the road, gibbering and brandishing perfectly huge swords. So I managed to get away and hide. It's not good enough, you know. You Dutch chaps ought to do something about Just it. Just one moment, please. Is there anyone else with you? Uh, with me? No, no, not at the moment. No, no, I imagine the other two chaps went back to the boat. You are not by any chance one of the three young men from Lexford College. Oh, marvellous. How on earth did you... Oh, oh it's of course the tie, what? My heavens. You started all this. Do you realize I, that? I beg your pardon. I, I said, okay, who are you? I am the Dutch resident here, Raymond, and this is the chief constable. Mynheer Curling. Oh, well, well, how do you do? I'm Reginald Muckridge. You are under arrest, Mynheer Muckridge. Under <laughs> arrest? That's impossible. I'm a British soldier. You and your friends went into the temple of Serene today and behaved in a shocking manner. What has become of the native girl? Little my dear chap, I haven't the foggiest notion. Not the foggiest. Do you understand that the whole island is in a state of revolt because of your stupidity? Oh, my dear. If sir. your two friends are found by the natives, they will most certainly be killed. Can you understand that? Well, but actually, it was a little uh, not. They're coming back. They must have seen us from the hills. Come on, we've got to get back to the lorry. Uh, I, I say, does this, does this sort of thing happen here all the time? I mean, actually? Not until you and I have been here. It has not happened since 1908. You English seem to have the knack of too late. Huh? Just got around behind us. Look, my Joe. My Joe, there must be hundreds of them. What? I mean, actually, how do you think, Colonel? I don't know. We can't stand them off here. I say, hello, some of, some of your chaps hailing us this way. Yeah. 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 They have surrounded the whole town. We, we fired over their heads, but it, it didn't stop them. Can't get the lorry. I'm afraid we'll have to hold out here until help comes. How many rounds of ammunition have you got, Cornelius? Only the regular issue, Minea. Yeah, seven of us must call into English. <laughs> You're getting ready to attack them. Yes, yes. Quick. Set hot. We'll have to make a run for it. Now. Kindly remember you are under arrest. Oh. There's something in the road. I 
if they've come to their senses. I say, look, they've got Foggy and Harrison. Blast them. What? Foggy and Harrison, we're doing the tour together. Uh, uh, Foggy, Harrison, it's all right. Foggy's here. Uh, be quiet. Hold your fire. But be careful. It may be a train. I'm going to shoot the little hunt to us. The young Englishman. We shall attack. It is the high priest made us shoot him down first. It may stop the hunt. No, wait, wait, wait a moment. Maybank! We know the other one is inside with you. Bring him out. You know quite well that we have no intention of doing that. I warn you. They must pay for what they have done. All three of them. Let me shoot him. It is the only way now. No, 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 Colin. Has your daughter been harmed, Maidang? Or the other woman? I will not discuss this thing with you. We want the Englishman. No, blast me. Blast and double blast. Unless you release those men at once, Maidang, it will mean severe penalties for your people. I say again, we shall deal with the Englishmen. No. They must die. Oh, I say. Maidang. Will you give me five minutes to think it over? We will give you five minutes. The two Englishmen are being taken out of your sight. The manner of their death will be prepared. If you do not decide to give up the other, you will hear his friends as they die. We could see from the doorway as a half dozen natives took the two young Englishmen down the road and out of sight. Maidang stood across the street from us, arms folded, waiting, and about him were an incredible number of men, solemn and quiet. To me, it was as though the whole of the Balinese male population was there, not really caring whether we would agree to give up Mokovich or not. They would be just as happy to kill all of us. I still say shoot Maidan now. It may break them off. No. There must be another way. Well, you mean to say that you'll simply sit here and allow their chance to be murdered? Well, I won't. You give me a gun and I'll go on out now. Mr. Markovich, you are very young and very foolish. You would be cut to pieces in five seconds. And your friends would die much more slowly. Oh, really? The governor must have heard by now. Soldiers should be on their way. I am afraid we will all be quite dead by then, Curtis. You know, it is more the matter of Maidang's daughter, I think, than the desecration of the temple. He is very proud. If he does not go through with this, he is afraid he will lose faith. There is smoke down the road, Minier. There, Cornelius. Yeah. You see? My heavens. They are building a fire. Oh, no, but, but they wouldn't. I am afraid they would. How much time have we got left? About three minutes. I wonder... What? We might be able to do it the back of the hut. We could break it out. It is very flimsy. Even so. Well, there were only half a dozen Balinese with the two boys. If we could get down there before Maidang knew we were gone, I say, sir. You, sir, be quiet. They might have more men close by. Or we might not be able to reach them in time. Heaven knows I do not want to do it, Colin, but I, I can't see any other way, can you? No. We'll try it. You better stay in the doorway where they can see you, in there. As soon as we've broken through. Can you just better take Markovich and try to get up to sing it out? Yeah. At least we can possibly save one of them. I'll see it through here if you don't mind, sir. I do mind, sir. You will do as you are told. <laughs> I think I even surprised myself. <laughs> I mean, here was I giving orders as though I was a born military leader. It was extraordinary. 
question, I was completely paralyzed with fear when I thought of what Medang would do to us if we failed. My heavens, I, I did not want to die, and most certainly not by Eastern methods. It seemed an age before I heard Curlin say that we were ready to go. For Medang's benefit, I had walked up and down in front of the doorway, keeping up a steady stream of aimless conversation. And now I hoped that my disappearance would not be noticed for the last minute or so of our day. Oh, I couldn't stay as close as you can to the buildings. I think you'll find it clear behind the town. Then you can make a circle around. Head for Singaraja. Mr. Uh, Markwich, you better have my gun just in case. Good luck. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry. Yes. So am I. Get help as quickly as you can, Cornelius. Yes, sir. Now then, Manette. Yes, yes, don't you see? My people are disgustingly well off. We can do it. And then when 
I get home to England, we'll get a divorce. All very hush-hush, of course, because Mummy will be absolutely furious. And then I'll ship her back to dear Daddy and Madame, you see? And she'll have so much money from the divorce settlement that she can own half of Barley. It might, um, well, after all, it's the very least I can do. After all, you did save my life, and I'm most terribly grateful. It might, too. And then this, this puts the other chaps in the clear, you see, and then we can, we can all go home. I will talk to Madame. I did. I am through the governor and the British consul, and finally Madame Daughter Lelang. I think she was quite surprised, for she had no idea what it was all about. And I am sure she cared less. That being one of the delights of the Balinese maidens, their ingenuousness. But she agreed to marry Mr. Markridge if he insisted which about put an end to the matter. Maybank was a little touchy for the next two months or so, and the governor thought it wiser to close the Balinese ports to tourist ships until things calmed down. One rather odd thing, though, Maybank's daughter never did return to Bali. Western civilization must have intrigued her immensely, for she remained Mrs. Margaret and... The last time I heard from them, she's making a brilliant career for herself as a ballet dancer. I'm the mother of twins. Exciting story, The Diary of a Madman.